Hi and welcome uh, to my channel. Uh, I'm standing here with a, a 500 quad. This is a quad that is owned by a friend of mine and he was not able to get it to fly properly. So he has a NACE 32 in this frame. So let's take a look and see if there is anything we can do with it. So yes, uh, here is the uh, the uh, the quad. So this is basically a, 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 a 500 frame from Hobby King, um, and I I think originally he had. Um, uh, I'm not quite sure if if uh, if there was a flight controller with it, uh, but there was uh, you know a complete set with engines and all. But um, the it did it did not perform very well at all and hardly get in the air. So he has swapped out the, the motors to some Multistar 2212 920 kV motors and um, <clears throat> we have a NACE 32 flight controller um, in here. So um, I also have a NACE 32 in this 250 and, and with the 250 it's just basically uh, configure the, the, the NACE and it flies uh, very well. However, he said that he did try uh, this 500, but it did not fly very well. I'm not quite sure how good the NACE uh, is on a quad of this size, because the NACE 32 boards are mostly used on 250s, but I couldn't really s say why it shouldn't work. So, uh, 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 what I have done is just connect it to my computer and calibrated the accelerometer and the uh, yeah the uh, the level of the board. So uh, let's uh, hook it up, put some props on, take it outside, and see how it flies. Hi, I'm uh, outside uh, in an open area. So we're going to try the. Uh, the 500 quad that a friend of mine owns and see if we are able to get it to fly. I have connected it to my computer and I have um, calibrated it, uh, set aim points and calibrated the ESC. So let me uh, put some power on, some props and let's see if it flies. Okay, we are uh, ready. <clears throat> I just noticed that the uh, the battery is not uh, well. It's, it's very loose, so if the battery shifts, yeah, I may change the CG on the quad, and that's not good. So I'm just going to try to lift it up and be real gentle, just to see if it flies. It's real wobbly, so it's basically correct. It doesn't fly very well. Exactly what is wrong? I don't know. Could be the barometer. See, there could be a suggestion to cover the uh, baro barometer. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. Oh, it's very wobbly. Yeah, I think it could be the uh, barometer. So I'm going to try to cover that up and we can try that again. Okay, I've been uh, tuning the copter a little bit. Uh, I needed to increase the P gain and lower the, the I gain. But um, it's still some, some uh, tuning you can do, but at least it's, uh, it's flyable. Well, it could be flyable. <clears throat> so let's try again.
So there are still a little movement, but um, and if anyone knows uh, what to tune to get rid of the movement, that would be that would be greatly appreciated. But um, but it, it's not even close to wobbly like it was uh, last time. So the owner can at least fly it. But uh, as you can see, it's uh, it's uh, still a small amount of movement. There are absolutely no wind, so I don't know why it's uh, moving the way it is. So if anyone knows, that would be great. Other than that, I think, uh, well, I'm done. He, the owner can do the rest, so. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs>